I, I feel like there's something off. There's something missing with this Yankee team. Yeah, they're great, but why do the end do they keep losing to the good teams that they play? I think this team's awesome, man. I, I don't know if we're watching. I wasn't sure if we were watching the same basketball series right. when the first two games, Nick Sixers. I'm not sure if we're watching the same baseball team. Oh, you but 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 again, they beat the Tigers and yeah. White Sox with ease. Mm-hmm. They they look well. They've like, beaten everybody, but he's whoa, 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 with these but Baltimore. Oh, whoa, whoa. but Baltimore. They played Dude, four it's, games. It, it's May. They played four games against Baltimore. How'd they do? It's May. Well, how'd they do? You, they lost. You, how many? Three. Three of four. They played the Mariners last night. How'd they do? Okay. They so, blew a three-run lead in the ninth inning. Let me ask you a question. They played two good teams all year long, all right. and they've lost four or five to them. Let I mean, me, let, let me ask you this here. So. First of all, for me, it's the best Yankee team that I've seen since 2009. I'll give you the reasons why right. in a minute. But now, Sal's not wrong. They didn't play a good series against Baltimore. That was disappointing. Forget about the record for a second. Mm-hmm. Forget about the standings. Their record's great. It's, it's, it's awesome. Great. Yeah. And by the way, last night's blown save. You had two bleeders, a little dinker, whatever. He's been phenomenal, Clay Holmes. When you look at the Yankees, now forget about Baltimore and Seattle for a moment. Mm-hmm. When you look at this team, what do you what do you think that they're missing? Because that's the real question. Not about, well, they lost three out of four. For me, lost three out of four a couple of weeks back against a, a mm-hmm. Baltimore in a measurement kind of a series. To me, the Yankees starting pitching is phenomenal. Right. I mean, from the look, Hill is filthy. Clark Schmidt is terrific. Like, you're talking about Rodon. Remember the conversation, Sal, like, oh, man, if the Yankees are really banking on Carlos Rodon to start the season without Garrett Cole, the Yankees are in a world of hurt. Carlos Rodon's their third or fourth best starter. Right. And that's okay. And, by the way, you got Garrett Cole coming back. Soto is flourishing in New York, not surprisingly. Aaron Judge is healthy, thank God. Volpe's, you know, continuing to take steps. You got Dominguez coming back. You got Garrett Cole coming back. They're always on base. Everybody's got pop. What is the problem with the Yankees? Then, then why, what is it, just coincidence that Clay Holmes has his worst outing of the year against the Mariners? Is it a coincidence that Carlos Rodon, who's been terrific, has his worst start of the year against Baltimore? Is it coincidence that the Yankees don't hit enough against the good pitching, whether it's the Mariners reliever last night? Whether, because we all thought the same thing. All right, fine. Clay Holmes gives it up. The Yankees got the top of the order. They're going to walk it off, typical Yankee fashion. One, two, three, Volpe, Ju- Volpe Soto, Judge, no, yep. they don't get the job done. Mm-hmm. Is it a coincidence they don't hit against Baltimore? I mean, those are things. Now, again, I'm nitpicking because we hold this team to the highest of standards. We're talking about World Series. And even though I'm questioning this team, I know that they're at worst a top three team in the American League yep. and probably realistically a top two team because they had that game in hand last night against the Mariners. But the Mariners showed a toughness and a fight and a fearless attitude coming back against the closer who was unbeatable well, in Clay Holmes. I mean, that, that's a bit of an overstatement. Right. Well, what do you mean? Well, you had a 13. Hopper that rolled past the pitcher. He gave you up had three a, runs, a four but, runs. But did you see the hits? Yeah, I did. Come on, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This, is what we're hanging the, this is what we're going to hang the hat on. The first blown save. The first run. It's against a good team. That he gives up. One was a 13 well, uh, uh, a dribbler. One was a little looper to center. If it happened, really? if it happened against the White Sox or Tigers, I'd chalk it up for, all right, whatever. It happens. It happened against a good team. A team that showed some fight. It's not a coincidence to me that they lost four or five to the Orioles and Mariners. The, the, the the only real competition. Like, the Twins are it okay. It wasn't the same Yankee team. Aaron Judge was not... I, I, I don't know that Aaron Judge was locked in at that point. He wasn't. Oh, oh, okay, so he gets locked in against the Tigers well, and he, White Sox. That, and that's well, also it's, the it's, point. It's, so, so, okay, so now you're saying that Aaron Judge will not hit good pitching? Did he hit in the postseason? Uh, well, he's one of the best players we've ever seen. Has he hit in the postseason uh, yet? Did Barry Bonds? Did Ted okay, Williams? But, did Willie Mays? But no. Did, did the answer is no, yeah. by the way. Oh, okay. And I gave you those OPSs two months ago. Willie Mays is like 612 OPS. Ted Williams is like 590. Right. Come on. So, but what does that mean? It means that baseball's hard. Uh, okay. And baseball right, is... We know that. That, it, right. it, well, but I, I don't know okay. that you do so because means, you're getting all the yeah. guy blows the save last night, no, the end of the world. No, no, it's not the end wow. of the world. It's that the – I like, do you just – you're going to be okay with the Yankees just making the playoffs and not winning a World no, Series? No, no, oh, okay. no. I'm, I'm actually so, prepared to push it forward right. today. Oh, okay, so good. Uh, so let's now go. Push it forward. So to win a World Series, I don't know if you know this, I'm assuming that you do, they actually have to hit in October. Well, well, yeah, well yeah, you have, well, to, get there. But, but you have to get there first. Well, well, they it's always May. Get there. That's well, not the May. problem. They always get there. Do you not think that this team is much better than any team basically since 09? I mean, really. I, I don't mean, know about I do. That, I do. Probably. I mean, they're good, yes, but they haven't – 
It, again, why didn't why couldn't they beat Baltimore? Like, even if they, first of all, if they won last night, you take away ammo from me. If they split with Baltimore, you take away ammo. Then there's really nothing to say other than, hey, let's get to October now and see what they're doing. Like, they're great, yes, but the good teams that they played, they lost four or five. So it's funny that I like the way you frame that for me because you said if they would have lost last night, it would have would have been ammo for me. Would have won if if the Yankees would have won. Oh, pardon last me. Night, I, I, thank yeah. you. If the Yankees would have won, it would have been ammo. No, no, I don't. I don't. Now listen, we just view it differently. I don't well, view. How do we, they lost to another good well, team. How's that different? I, I understand that. You make it seem like all they've done is beat the Mets to get to these 31 right. wins. Now, that's a bad team. Now, that's beating the doormat. No, they, they beat the White Sox. The White Sox have 14 they, wins they, on they the They beat year. everybody they basically beat the, but Baltimore. They beat the Tigers. And now Seattle. But, but they've only, they only played them a few times. And I, I'm, not, I'm not even like, we know the Yankees are good. Okay, they beat Minnesota. Is that something that, as a Yankee fan, like you're proud of? Beating expect, no, you because expect they, to beat Minnesota. Okay, so they beat the White Sox, the worst team in baseball. Is that something that you're like, hey, no, you expect up? to do that. Okay, they beat the Tigers, who were a crappy team. Like this recent run, the Yankees, you would argue that the Yankees, and you have, the Yankees have not had this type of run or make you feel as good about a team since 2009. Yep. Those wins came after losing three or four to the Orioles. After they score 30 runs in two games against the Brewers, they followed up basically getting goose eggs. Yep. And they, they lose three or four to the Orioles. Then the Tigers come to town who stink. The Astros, we know how they are this year. The Rays, okay, whatever. Like the Rays, they went two out of three. Solid series for the Yanks. The Twins, worthless. And the Yankees did what they had to do, sweeping. And the White Sox, worthless. The Mariners are another real. Like for me, if I'm judging this Yankees team, it's going based off of that Orioles series, which I thought was important. And now this Mariners series. Now they could come back and win two out of three here. I wouldn't be shocked if that's the case. However, to me, just something is off when they no, continue no, to lose to the good there's, teams. There's nothing off. It's, it's as on as it's been in 15 years. That's what I see. I mean, think about the question marks coming in, Sal. Mm-hmm. And and really before they addressed them last year, we'll get to these calls. Like, And we were all yelling, left fielder, get one. I mean, Verdugo has been terrific. He's been great. He's been really good. Um, you know, we were worried about Judge's foot, and I think that's going to be a maintenance thing the rest of his career. He looks like the best hitter in baseball right now. Juan Soto, eh, before he took a little dive for a week or two, was the best hitter in baseball. People said that Rizzo's done. I, I, I don't know that he is, actually. And... The starting pitching, you know, I, 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 they were so reliant on Garrett Cole. I can't, I, I, this guy's coming back, right. Garrett Cole. So I am, there is no way, and I, I get it. You know, it's, it's an interesting conversation, I guess, if you play stock in three games or four games in, in, in early May or, or, or late April against Baltimore. It's like Baltimore's been good for 10 years. They had one good year, dude. I mean, the Baltimore Orioles are suddenly the measuring stick. The Yankees, to me, have absolutely everything that they, they need. Offense, pitching, little speed. They got it all. And if the Yankees don't get to a World Series, then they failed. Right. Simple as that. And they're not going to get there if they can't beat the good teams like Baltimore and Seattle, which now in five games they've lost four or five. BT and Sal on the fan are friends at Town Fair Tire. Remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Dan is in Alabama. What's up, Dan? Hey, how we doing, guys? Good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm good. Like, one thing I wanted to say, you know, first-place teams, we put up 30 runs against the first-place Brewers. We also took two out of three from the first-place Cleveland Guardians. So it's not that we've been playing bad teams. Um, but one thing I really want to talk about, which is kind of the bigger picture, when we set the expectation for the Yankees to win the World Series, I don't agree that that's not the wrong expectation, but the problem is when we live and die by that, okay, if the Yankees win the World Series – We've met expectation. You don't give them any room to exceed expectation. And so I was one thing to, to hold a team to high, high standards, but it's another thing to understand the course of the game and understand that there are highs and lows, and there is a way for the Yankees to exceed expectations, which I think they're doing right now. How, how is there a way for this Yankees team to exceed expectations if they don't win the World Series? Well, I'm not saying they don't win the World Series, but I'm saying that right now the World Series is the very end goal. Okay, yeah, no, of course, no, but you're right, point. but but to exceed, like the Yankees at certain point, and I agree with you, Dan, and thank you for the call. It's not always about World Series or bust, but with the Yankees because they've been so good, and they've made it about that themselves. Yeah, it generally is World Series or bust, but in certain years, like 2017, wasn't the case. Yeah, and then from there, the the expectation was get at the very least get to a World <laughs> Series. Like if the Yankees have gotten to a World Series in recent years, I don't think you could really go over the top and criticize. You could say, hey, they got there, they lost. It happens, unfortunately, but since the you know, this new, the baby bombers, whatever you want to call them, 
the Aaron Judge Yankees, they have not even been to a World Series. And I think this year, BT, it's different because they brought in Soto. They made all those changes. Like, the expectation should be World Series. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's great. Every team should want those expectations. The reality is to fulfill those expectations, and not going to be easy. And because of the Yankees, like in 1998, I don't feel like this is a problem. Now, 98, obviously the greatest year ever. But, you know, the Yankees, the, the way I'm looking to judge this team on another level the, the times they played the Orioles and Mariners haven't been good enough so far. That's it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> listen, I, big picture, I, I I get it, I guess. I look at the Yankees, and I watch them play, and I don't think there's anything they can't do. So as, as we start to, you know, move toward Memorial Day, there's nothing that I'm worried about. Now, that doesn't mean that it's complete kick your feet up. Yankees win 103 games, and they sweep everybody, and they, they, they bludgeon people in, in round two of World Series, although that, that could happen. What it means is that right now there, I, I, there's nothing alarming at all about the Yankees. You know, for years it was depth behind Garrett Cole. Last year it was Judge gets banged up in L.A. God, you got nothing. Uh, other other years they were just gaping holes, left field, catcher, other issues that we've hit, you know, chapter and verse here on the show and on the station. I look at the Yankees, and to me, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a more well-rounded team in the American League. The National League's a little bit of a different story. A couple different teams out there. The AL is weak. It's weak. And, and I know the Orioles are going to be there. I'm not taking them for granted, but I'm sure as hell not looking at four games five weeks ago and saying the Yankees can't beat them because they obviously could. They just have to. Well, and I believe that they will. Well, well, they could, though, but what are you basing that off of? The Yankees team that I watch every night. Simple. Well, right. No, but they played them four times. No, so you're not telling me anything I don't know. Right, so that's what they I'm curious. Four where, games, where, right, and they, they lost did three nothing. Of them. So, I understand right, that. Right, so that's what I'm curious where you say, well, they could beat them. Well, do you how, think it's the same Yankees you know team? That? Well, first of all, Luis Hill wasn't really part right. of the rotation back then, number one. Number two, Aaron Judge. Well, you're they played wasn't them, Aaron Judge. You're talking about the Orioles series. They played him a couple weeks ago. I understand, they? but you got to look at the season, yeah. at least I choose to, right. as, as it emerges and different storylines evolve. And the Yankee team now is just a different team. They're a different team. They they played them, like, this month. How long ago was it? When did they play Baltimore? They played, let's see. It was in what April. Are the, what are the actually dates here? Was it the end of April? It was April. Yeah. Let's see what the dates were. It was not too long ago. I don't have the exact dates here for some reason. It was I, April. I, I'm sorry, no, it was not. It was May 2nd. Okay, May 2nd. Yeah. So, so it's it almost, not it's, April, yeah, so, so, so it's almost lost. Memorial Day. Yeah. Okay, off by two days. Wow. Well, well April 29th, 30th, uh, May 1st, and May 2nd. So the beginning of May is when they played. Play the and and the end of April. So we're right. actually both right, right, if you want to be literal. All right, so I'm going to ask you again because you haven't yeah. given me an answer. You can tell me how they didn't play well against Baltimore. Fantastic. Right. Wow, amazing. But, okay, what's wrong with this team? Oh, What's wrong with them? Nothing. What do you, when you watch the, I want an honest right. answer. When you watch the Yankees, forget about Baltimore for a second. What don't you see? A team that can beat good teams. That is well, so it. nebulous and so uh, but, lazy. But, but, but how is that lazy? Do they have starting pitching? Yeah, Do they have a good bullpen? Yeah. Do well, they do have well, power? Do you trust Clay Holmes? Wait, wait, do I they, don't. Oh, come on. Okay, do they have power? Well, do you? I'm asking you. Yes. To, okay, well, I don't. Personally, I never have. I, he, to me, I mean, he's been the best closer in baseball. Can't argue that, but I just don't trust do him. Do the Yanks catch the baseball for the most part? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, I, mean, they're, they're I, I haven't heard of weakness uh, yet. That doesn't mean that they're perfect. Then how did they but, lose three or four to the, to the oh Orioles and lose God last night to the Mariners? Because it's baseball, oh, okay. man. Right. You but, know that. It's they, baseball. Okay. Uh, so, I got then, a so then it's a coincidence. Well, then let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on. That's fine. That could well, be it, might be. it could be. Now, by the way, we don't know yet. Right. What I'm saying is now, I love this team. So if it's just about that, any time a bad team beats a good team, we should make more. Of, we should say the bad team is better than they really are. No, no, no. Oh, they beat like, a good team. No, like how is that possible? If, if they lost, I told you. If they how lost, does that? How does that work? That that, that doesn't add up. Yeah, if, doesn't make any sense. If they lost two of three to the White Sox, they'd be like, oh, whatever. It's a bad series. Like nobody's going to say. The I White look Sox at it the other way. Like you got to mop the floor with these bad teams, I, and they have. Yeah, they that's have what I'm for saying. The most part. I mean, outside of the Marlins, but that's going a little bit further back in the in the season here. But with the Orioles, that was a meant to me. Now, you don't want to hold the Yankees to that standard. That's fine. No, no, I am. I'm yeah. saying I okay. expect them to get to the World Series. Okay. okay. Well, but that's a bigger picture right. than, you know, four games. But, hey, you, literally, you're not wrong. 
Literally, you're not you know, wrong. You know, and I know it's a different team. The Yankees were 19 games worse than the Orioles a year ago. And you want to say, okay, well, fine, throw that means out. means nothing to me. Okay. Don't, and we talked about right. this during right. the winter. We talked about right. it a lot. It means nothing. Okay. It means but, nothing. But, but then they played head-to-head this year I, four well, times. I understand that. But last and, year. And so how could that mean nothing? Well, because, no, I'm not saying that means okay. nothing. Oh, wow. I'm saying it doesn't mean nearly as much as it means to, you know, you, to me as it does to you. Right. I mean, so last year, Aaron Judge play? Did Juan Soto play? Did Luis Hill pitch? Right. I mean, okay. come on. Did they, did they was play Volpe a rookie? Yeah. Was okay. Rizzo concussed? So last year doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. This year does. They lost three or four. And and, and they lost last night. I to still the haven't Mariners. heard an answer, by the way. Yeah. About what? What don't the Yankees I told you. Do you just don't want to hear no, it. No, 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 no. Something actual, like real. Who? How would you rank the teams in the American League right now? I think the Yanks are the best team in the American and League. I truly do. Who's second and third? Baltimore would be second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm not missing somebody obvious. Uh, I mean, the guard, whatever, Guardians. Yeah. Okay. Who am I missing? I'm missing a th- uh, uh, probably Seattle. Oh. oh, here you go. I know. I, they lost again to another good team. I got you. Oh, that's it. I, yeah, it's the done. Oh, I'm not. So, uh, you can can't beat Baltimore. Can't you, beat Seattle. It's the middle of May. Season's you, over. I didn't Uh-oh. say that. I, you know, Clay Holmes gave up a 13 hopper that somehow went past him. Uh oh. He got destroyed. Yeah. He gave up an earned run. Season's cooked. He gave up more than a 13 hopper. Oh, come on, dude. He gave up. He the, gave up four runs. I understand. But that's did you not see, by accident. Sal, but did you see the way the run yeah. scored? I saw. I saw a I couple mean, base hits. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, you guys, had a bleeder, a little bloop to center. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. I love that. I think this team is awesome. I mean, not, that doesn't I'm mean that they're guaranteed to win because yeah. baseball's random. This Yankees team is absolutely the best team I've seen, see, I've seen since 2009. Right. And all I'm saying is I agree with they're a great team. I mean, you'd have to be a fool or not watch this team and think that they've been a great baseball team. But I have concerns about them in the clutch against good teams, and there's reason for that. I'm giving you factual evidence, not just, well, they'll be fine. They might be fine. But I don't want to hit you with stats. Right. I don't want to bore you I to death. I can stats. provide factual evidence well, after factual yeah, evidence. I don't need the stats. I could recite that they had a point four six zero rate encompassing nine starts from their starting pitcher. I don't want to bore people to tears. Me neither. Nobody let's, wants to get bludgeoned with stats. Let's just simply Just watch them. You yeah. know that they're good. Uh, agreed. And you know that they have it. Agreed. And then I watched them in five games against the, in your words, second and third best team in the American League, yep. and they lost. Four. I got a question for you. Yeah. What's Seattle's record? Seattle. What are they? Is three or four games over five hundred at this point in a week 22. west. All right, so they're four games over five hundred. Have you gone through Seattle's? And I know you haven't. And we're not on Seattle, so I get right. it. Have you gone through their schedule and looked at how they've done against good teams? No. I'm, Let's hold everybody to the same just, standard. They, they just beat the Yankees. I understand. Right. That's one game. Yeah, okay. So, How'd they do against Baltimore? How'd they do against the Rays? How'd they do against the Twins? Don't, How'd they don't do against the that. Guardians? But you should, what? because it should be one all-encompassing thought. Um, but we're talking about the Yankees. Uh, understood. Right. But but Seattle has lost a ton of games to bad teams. Mm, they just beat the Yankees. That's a good win for me. <laughs> I mean, they beat the best team in baseball. <laughs> it's, I don't understand it. I, okay, you're happy with the Yankees. That's fine. I, I need to see a little bit more. All Patty, what's that? Versus, one beat, six beat against some, Tampa? Beat some good teams. What are they? I mean, my goodness. Pat, I beat, what? No, they're four and two against Tampa this no, year. Well, that doesn't fit. Uh, keep it moving. Yeah, that's, that's BT, not what I'm, we're here two and four. BT instead. and Sal on the fail. We'll get back to more of your calls on the other side. 